Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here's another deck profile for you guys today. This time's on Medulchis. Now I've actually been wanting to play Medulchis for quite a while simply because, yeah, it was just on shelf. Uh, with Cash Tira and Tier Limit being in the format for for uh, the time that they were, I just couldn't compete with it. Like, yeah, Medulchi just was just not playable. Uh, Cash Tira, Rizehar, you know, uh, basically just nipped away my graveyard. And since Medulchis have the gimmick word, if they're destroyed and sent to the graveyard, they shuffle themselves back. But... If there's no graveyard, yeah, that can't resolve, and I just lose all my resources. And also, uh, though the deck is actually much playable now, thankfully, now that a right heart is banned, uh, I felt like, you know what, this deck could actually be pretty good right now. And funny enough, there is a new engine that helps support this deck, uh, simply because they offer a lot of value, and just helps you keep pushing for more plays in case you get disrupted, because that's the biggest thing about Medulci. You know, it is a good board breaker, it is good at OTKing. Uh, the biggest flaw with the deck is that it's super fragile, like... Just one hand trap could basically end your turn if you know if you're not careful and if you have no follow up, yeah, that can be devastating. But with the new engine, that definitely adjusts that. And also, I did decide to add some new cards that you know basically help me counterplay against hand certain hand traps. I think my biggest one that I have to worry about is simply going to be uh, Droll. Yeah, Nib sucks too, but you know, like I said, the new engine kind of helps me play around it if I have to, and yeah, it just helps me keep playing. But anyway, um, let's go and get started. So the main deck is 40 cards, starting off with three copies of Medulce Magilene. Definitely your main starter um, when it's normal summon searches out any Medulce monster you want. Three Angeli. Uh, this is probably my personal favorite one. Uh, tribute this card and special summon one Medulce monster. And also, uh, yeah, it just basically gets you access to like whatever you really need. Next up, three copies of Petting Cesar. If you have no uh, monsters in the graveyard, literally a free special summon. And if this card is special summon, you can special summon one other Medulci monster from your deck and reduce its level by one. And your main target is always going to be Pudding Sis. Uh, two copies of Hoot Cake. Uh, this card's really strong because of the fact that, you know, it essentially manipulates the graveyard for you. By banishing one, well, any one monster from your graveyard, you can special summon one other Medulci monster for, directly from your deck. Uh, next, two copies of Miss and Gelato. This is, the, this is going to be your main target for your Hoot Cake. If this card is special summon, um... You can add one Medulci spell or trap. You must control a face-up Medulci beast monster, which case your Hoot Cake, to resolve this effect. So just bear that in mind. And of course, the one Pudding Sis. I know some people have opted to cut this, but I personally still like to play it just because, you know, it goes really well with the Pudding Sis or. Uh, moving on. So this is starting off with the new engine. Three copies of Vernus Self of the Flourishing Hills. This card is actually pretty cool. So the Vernus Self engine has a gimmick where they discard themselves and one other card in your hand or another Vernus Self card. And then you can, for this one, you can search out any uh, Earth monster from your, uh, or I'm sorry, you can add one Vernus Self monster, or Vernus Self card, I'm sorry, from your deck to your hand, except itself. And then you can special summon one Earth monster from your graveyard. And keep in mind, one Earth monster. The, Medul the entire Modolchi engine is Earth, so that's really good. And uh, yeah, so like, um, I like this because the, not only are they uh, searchers, but they also have monster reborn effects. So that's pretty important. Next up, two copies of Furnace Self of the uh, mist of the Misting Seedlings. Now, I know this should probably be played at three, but I opted to, to play it at two simply because I just needed to make room for one other card in my deck, which we'll get into momentarily. Uh, but uh, some, same thing as before, you can discard this card in one monster or Furnace Self card. And then you can uh, add one Earth Fairy monster from your deck to your hand, in which case it could be another copy of the uh, the Flourishing Hills, or we can go into this one. And of course, this one also does the Monster Reborn effect. Uh, so I'm playing the one copy of Vernus Self of the uh, Thawing Mountains. You can discard this card and one Monster or Vernus Self card, draw one card, and then you can special summon one Earth Monster from your graveyard. So yeah, they're all basically Monster Reborns. But I like this one because, you know, it draws you more cards. Um, one thing I should mention, these do lock you into activating a monster fix, except earth ones. So like, yeah, like that's why like my hand trap lineup is very uh, nitpicky. So like, yeah, you don't want to lock yourself out from like using specific hand traps. But again, like it's not too bad considering like if I'm going second anyway, then that restriction doesn't really happen. But yeah, um, overall, it's a pretty strong engine. Definitely try it out. Sadly, I don't have any cashier fin rears. If I did, I would run them. But yeah, I got to work with what I got. But as for the hand trap lineup, I am playing three copies of Ash, just because, you know, it's generically good. Uh, one Droll, this is mostly just as a uh, cross-out target, because, again, Droll is probably my biggest enemy. Yeah, Nib sucks, but at the same time, like, um, I can kind of I can kind of play around it. 
But if I do, if I did play a uh, nib, I'd probably cut maybe one ash, put in a nib just, you know, for additional target. Three uh, imperm. And yeah, that's just about it. But yeah, let me know in the comments if I should do that, like cut one ash and put in a nib. But anyway, moving on to spills. Two copies of Salon. You don't need three as much as anymore, simply because, you know, now that we have that new engine, like, they basically don't eat up your normal summon as much. But if you do need that additional normal summon, Salon is still pretty good. It is searchable through uh, Messenger Lotto, so yeah, that's another thing. But yeah, during your main phase, you get an additional normal summon for a Medulci monster. And also, uh, if another Medulci card you control is, or in your graveyard is added back to your hand or shuffled into your deck, you can set one Medulci spell or trap directly from your deck. So a great way to get into a uh, Promenade. Uh, the one Chateau. Just because, you know, it is the deck's main field spell. One ticket, you know, just the standard lineup. Uh, for, like, additional disruption, two copies of Book of Moon. Um, didn't mention I was on Crossout Designator. Two Triple T, you know, just standard counterplay cards, one called by. And then to round up our, uh, the only traps that I'm playing, two copies of uh, Madolchi Promenade. This is also great for disruption. Target one face-up card your opponent controls and one Madolchi monster you control or in your graveyard, negate the effects of that face-up card, and then if you do return the uh, card, you can you target it back to your deck or your, to your hand. So, like, yeah. Uh, pretty good overall. All right, so that's it for the main deck. Now moving on to the extra deck. Uh, for the extra deck lineup, playing two copies of Medulce Fresh Sistar. This is basically just good for protection for your Medulce Spells and Traps. Uh, one Alsa. You know, it is an Earth Monster, so why not? Same thing with Crossy, this just happens to be an Earth Monster. And if you do actually need to run over something, you know, a great way to power down one of your opponent's monsters if you, for as long as you control an Xyz monster. Three Glass Uh My personal favorite of the uh, lineup, uh, Queen Tiramisu. I mean, it shuffles back uh, two of your Medulci cards and it bounces back and bounces back two of your opponent's cards, not targeting, by the way. So yeah, Tiramisu is crazy. Three, uh, putting this chocolate a la mode. You know, it's a rank five, and it also gives you more Madolchi monsters if you need to. And if I just need to go the extra mile, I am playing the one full armored Dark Knight Lancer. This was just printed in Age of Overlord. You can exceed some of this card using any rank five or six monster, which, uh, putting this chocolate a la mode is a rank five. And then all its materials go to it. And if I battle with it, I can go to Zeus. So it becomes essentially a four material Zeus. Yeah, I know we do have the Anti Zeus uh, card now in the uh, now in printed in the, possibly in the format, but so far I haven't seen it just yet. So I think playing Zeus is still fine. But if I don't want to go into Zeus, then the other guy gets pretty strong too for every material it has. Now for the side deck, uh, playing three copies of uh, Wing Dragon of Frost Sphere Mode. This is just good as a board breaker, especially because like again going back to Petting Sessor, if I have no monsters in the graveyard, I can just special summon it, and if I can go into my uh, my Tiramisu, I can literally just bounce this card back into my own deck, non-targeting. So, like, it clears three monsters because we're in a form where, like, there's plenty of decks that sit on big boards. So, yeah, I uh, think Spear Mode is pretty safe to play. I also play uh, Dark Ruler No More. The only downside is that um, I don't I don't get to do any uh, battle damage or any damage of any kind. So, But if I need to, you know, push for plays and just break the board in general, yeah, Dark Ruler No More kind of helps with that. Uh, two Cosmic. One Feather Duster, three Evenly, and last but not least, three D Barrier. This is solely for any Synchro Heavy deck or Branded, because, you know, Branded is still in the format, so, like, call Fusion, and, yeah, it just hurts them. Just watch out for Chimera Fusion, though, because, like, if they don't, uh, if they already have one in hand, they can still play. It just, yeah, you, you don't want, you don't want to be on the opposite end of those Chimera Fusions. But, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys again next time.